I'm back and for this week's video I'm just gonna be showing you how I typically do my makeup when I'm feeling good and want to wear it so I don't wear makeup every day because I'm incredibly lazy and I literally just don't care like when I go to school and stuff because I have no one to impress so and I also feel really comfortable with the way my skin looks I mean it's not perfect but it looks a lot better than it has in the past I mean right now I have some acne on my chin and it's because I ran out of my proactive face wash and I need to get some more but we'll get there but yeah anyways I figured I would sit down and just kind of show you guys how I do my makeup when I wear it and I guess that's it <laughs> So yeah, I've washed my face and I got my beauty blender wet. So let's get started. So typically I start off with this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. It is probably my favorite face primer that I've ever used. Um, I've tried a couple, but that one is by far my favorite. I just like the way it feels on my face. And it also helps like with to keep my acne away and everything. So when I wear a lot of makeup, sometimes it helps, you know, keep breakouts away. So I typically put like two squirts on each of my fingers on my left hand and then I take one and put it on the other and then I just go like this. And then I use my hands to put it all over my face. And don't worry, my hands are clean because I'm not disgusting. So I discovered this like a week or two ago and it was worked really well with my skin. And my face gets really oily really fast. So a lot of foundations just don't work well with my skin and it makes my skin look kind of gross and greasy. And I hate it because I enjoy like when I can wear makeup and you know, I'll go out and I'll wear makeup and look really nice, but like I can't, it won't look good after so long. So like I, I'm like, okay, trying new things. And so I just have been watching some YouTubers that do their makeup and everything. And one of them, um, just doesn't use, um, foundation in their makeup routine. And I started that and I just use concealer now as like a liquid base or whatever you would like to call it. And it has helped my skin and it doesn't make, you know, my face look as greasy and oily as it would if I had foundation on. So, therefore, I'm going to go in with Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15, which is fair. And... I'm just going to put it under my eyes and on some of my problem areas. So after I get it all applied in the places that I am happy with, I go in with my beauty blender, my knockoff beauty blender, and blend it all out. blending out my concealer I'm gonna take this NYX HD finishing powder and just go over my concealer with a brush of course So next, I am 
going to contour my face. A little disclaimer, I am not the best at this, so... But to do my contour, I use this Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick. Um, one of my friends did my makeup for my junior prom and she didn't have this exact one, I don't think, but she had a foundation stick in a darker shade that she used to contour my face. And then after that, I went out and bought this and it has actually helped me a lot when it comes to contouring my face. It makes me not look that bad. So this is in the shade Coconut and I'm just gonna contour my face now. Let's go. And now that I have all my contour foundation stick stuff on my face, I'm gonna take this Real Techniques Ultimate Buffing Brush and buff it out. So now that I'm done with buffing out my contour, or whatever you would consider it, I'm literally at like such a disadvantage when it comes to makeup terms, but it's fine. Like, I don't even care at this point. I'm not a beauty guru for a reason. Anyways, now that I'm done with that, I am just gonna go fill in my eyebrows. So I use this little e.l.f. Um, kit in the shade light, and I usually use the lighter side of it. If I can get it open, I'll show you which one. So I typically use this little light one right there for just kind of filling them in. And then I use this e.l.f. small angled brush to fill them in. And then I just have like a little spoolie brush to, you know, brush it through. So now I'm gonna go do that. So now that I'm done with my eyebrows, I'm going to put on my mascara. So when I wear mascara, I typically use two different mascaras. One that's not waterproof and one that is waterproof. So I typically start out with the one that's not waterproof and then put the one that is waterproof on top. So it's a lot easier to get the, the mascara off, you know, before I go to bed and before I take a shower or whatever. So life hack. Put non-waterproof mascara on before your regular waterproof mascara, if you wear waterproof mascara. So my non-waterproof mascara is the CoverGirl <laughs> Star Wars The Force Awakens, the Super Sizer Mascara. This mascara I got for Christmas in 2015, and it is currently 2019, Ew, if you didn't know that. that. Shut up, Kelly, it still works. Anyways, um, you know, I probably shouldn't use it, but I still do because it's my favorite mascara and it works really well. So if they still made it, I'd buy a new one, but I'm sure they don't because this movie is three and a half years old, so. And then over top, my waterproof mascara, I have the Better Than Sex. So let's put it on. So now that I'm done applying my mascara, I'm going to finish off with my lips. Sometimes I wear lipstick, sometimes I don't. I typically... <laughs> my sister's outside the window. <laughs> Love that. Um, I typically will wear chapstick because I'm just not that much of a lipstick person. So I'm just going to be using Vaseline's Lip Therapy Advanced Healing Chapstick. Can't see it, but that's fine. There it goes. 
So yeah, that is it for just what I typically wear when it comes to makeup and all that jazz. So it's not the best in the world, but for me, it's simple, it's easy, and it looks better than what I used to be able to do. So that's just how I'm gonna put it. So yeah, that's it for this week's video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share for more crazy stupid stuff from me. And I'll see you next Saturday with a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Thank you.